Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at the 10 most dangerous beaches in the world. Going to the beach is normally a relaxing and fun activity, but this can vastly depend on where you go. These are beaches that are impossible to relax on as you would be spending too much time simply trying to survive. I don't recommend planning a vacation to any of these beaches anytime soon, but they are crazy, so check them out. Before we get started, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply. Coming in at number 10, we have North Sentinel Beach. This beach is beautiful and idyllic, but unlike some of the other beaches on this list, the nature on the beach isn't what makes it dangerous. It's the people. The beach is located on an island of the same name. The people on this island have set up one large tribe on the beach and they do not like outsiders. India sent a plane to the island to try and make contact with them, but the plane was shot by flaming arrows. And unsurprisingly, the plane didn't get a chance to land, let alone make contact. In another instant, a boat stopped on the island shores, not knowing the dangers. The two occupants got out of the boat and made contact with the natives, but did not make it off the island alive. Next up we have New Smyrna. This beach, located in Florida, has a reputation for its beauty, but with that beauty comes danger. It's infested with sharks. And there's actually been more shark sightings off the coast of New Smyrna than in the entire southern African region. Despite this, the beach still brings in a lot of visitors. The sharks often strike, however people usually make it out alive. However, there were a record 240 shark incidents in just 9 years, giving it the nickname Shark Capital of the World. And if you're thinking you can just stay on the beach and not go in the water to be safe, then sorry, but the land is just as dangerous. It's known for its massive storms that have taken lives. There's nowhere to run on this beach. Next up we have Bikini Atoll. Bikini Atoll is a beach on the US Marshall Islands. It's known for its beautiful sea life and is widely regarded as one of the best locations for divers in the world. However, there are two things that make this beach dangerous. Sharks and nuclear energy. The seas are infested with sharks that often cause incidents with divers. The waters were also a testing ground for nuclear military exercises in the 1950s. Around 20 nukes have been set off landing in the waters, making some areas dangerous due to radiation. The US government say the islands are legally safe, but I don't think I take their word for that. Next up we have Fraser Island. Fraser Island is an island that many call paradise, but it's also paradise to sharks and dangerous breeds of jellyfish. The waters are dangerous and the land's not much better. The sands of the beach have large crocodiles roaming around them, and hidden in the sand is the world's most dangerous spider. The beach is also home to some dingoes which have been known to jump on children. This beach has something for the whole family, if your family wants to be hurt that is. This may be a paradise island, but I think I'll leave it for the wildlife to enjoy. Next up we have Cape Tribulation. This beach is located in Australia, a country known for its dangerous animals. Well, this beach is like one microcosm of the whole of Australia, and unsuspecting tourists often get caught up in the danger. The beach is home to jellyfish, snakes and crocodiles, but these animals are nothing compared to the most dangerous animal on this beach. It's also home to animals called cassowaries, the world's most dangerous bird. They weigh about 200 pounds and are flightless and oversized. They're aggressive and can often inflict some serious pain onto unsuspecting holidaymakers. Coming up next, we have Playa Zipolite. This Mexican beach has been voted the most beautiful beach in the world, but it's also known as one of the world's most dangerous. The name translates to the beach of doom, and the name is no exaggeration. The water may look tempting, but the currents are so dangerous hundreds of people who go in the waters don't make it out. So many people have passed on the beach that a crack team of lifeguards has been stationed on the beach. They're specially trained and have navy style equipment to rescue people, and thanks to them, the issue is is getting better. Next up we have Gainsby. This South African beach is known for one thing, sharks. It has so many sharks, people visit the beach just to see them, and there's a whole industry set up around the sharks. Tourists can pay to feed them in boats if they don't mind risking their hands getting chomped off. You can even cage dive and see the sharks up close if you dare. It's nicknamed Shark Alley as the whole beach is known for the dangerous animals. There's an estimated 60,000 sharks in the waters, meaning that anyone who swims there is doomed. 
Coming up next, we have Chow Patty Beach. This beach's name may be funny, but once you hear its backstory, you won't be laughing. Chow Patty is the most famous beach in India, but not for a good reason. It's due to it being the most polluted beach in the world. The reason why? In 2001, 60,000 tons of coal were spilled into the beach's waters. It's polluted, so no one would go on it, right? Well, not exactly. Every year, thousands of people celebrate the Hindu festival of Janisa Chachate, and during it, it's a tradition to wash in the sea, but because the waters and the beach are so polluted and disgusting, many end up getting sick from the tradition. Next up is the black sand beaches of Kilauea. When you think of Hawaiian beaches, you likely think of sun, palm trees, and white sand. Well, this beach is known for its black sand. It's located near the most active volcano in Hawaii, Mount Kilauea. The sand on the beach is black due to the volcanic ash. The water also collides with molten lava in some areas and some parts of the water can reach temperatures of over 100 degrees. It may look bizarre and amazing, but the volcano nearby makes it dangerous as there's no escape. The volcano is active and has been marked as ready to erupt at any time since the 1980s, making it very scary. This isn't the best spot to relax, no matter how strong your sunscreen is. Next up we have Heard Island. This beach is not located on a tropical island or a typical sandy beach. This is the world's coldest beach located in Antarctica. The beach has a lot of sun and gives anyone with exposed skin sunburns as it reflects off the white snow. However, the cold waters and icy terrain make this beach freezing cold. Some have tried diving and swimming in the waters. However, swimmers have become trapped under the ice, never to return. Others have caught hypothermia due to the coldness. I wouldn't recommend this beach for your next family vacation. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you can vote for the most dangerous beach. But as always, thanks for watching, check out some more videos on screen right now, leave a like if you enjoyed, and do something totally not dangerous by subscribing to Top 10s.